Okay, this is a beware of cheap tools video. Um, and this, the one I am reviewing, I want to say it's, well, I don't want to say what it is because I don't want to say the wrong name and, but I, I'll show you what to look for. It is, a, you know, goes on the end of your hose for inflating tires and stuff like that. Just a, um, the end for your air compressor. The problem with it is, it's a cheapie. And the issue is, and I'm going to show you on a good one here. This is a good one. And if you look at this one closely, in the middle there, that's the thing that pushes on the valve stem when you're in, you know, pushing on it to insert air into a tire. And you can see that stem in the middle there has an indent in it. And that indent is designed for the valve stem to sit in there. So when you push, it set, keeps it centered. This pushes in. Oops. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better right there. So the valve stem would sit right on there and it would push. Air would come right around and fill your tire up. Now let me show you the other one show you what the problem is. The bottom line is this one did not have an indent. It was a flat surface. So when you tried to push on the valve stem to put air in the tire, this little stem in there is free floating and it would just tip off to the side. The valve stem would seal back up and no air would come out of either unit. Now I made this at least a usable unit by disassembling it. And I took that little um, tip out of there, put it in the drill press and was able to get somewhat of an indent drilled into the top of that so it does hold uh, the stem in place holder holds it centered and then it does work but occasionally it does still give me trouble so the bottom line is i don't want this video to go too long long if you're looking to buy a um, air um, nozzle attachment for tires and stuff like that make sure you check that center tip to make sure it has an indent like this. And I'm just gonna do that. There we go. So make sure there's an indent so it has a place for the valve stand to sit on your tire and air flows through freely. I know it sounds simple and it seems kind of ridiculous, but I'm telling you right now, this damn thing has given me more trouble. And I have two of them, and I eventually I'll buy a new one, but I was able to um get it to work and the reason why is some of you might ask well you know why don't you just use this one all the time well when I use my tire changer and I'm putting air in I like to be able to clamp this on holds it on the valve stem and then I can be working the tire to make sure I get a good seat seat around the bead sometimes you have to squeeze in on the tire to make that happen so it seals so you need to be able to clamp this on the valve stem and leave it alone and let air flow through this one, you know, you have to hold it in position to do it. So you, you're limiting yourself to one hand. So anyways, um, just a quick tip on air compressor tools. There, you can actually see that a little bit better right now. You can see where I drilled it out and got a slight indent in there. But it came with a flat top, which is completely useless. So please um, like, subscribe. Hopefully you find this helpful. Share, comment, and come back often for more videos. Thanks a lot and have a great day.